Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. This is going to be build challenges. As you can see over there in the background, I've got it all set up, but I just wanted to quickly run through a couple of things before I start this. I know a couple of people in this community already do this series, but I cleared it with them, like Bayani. I don't want to see comments down below, but like, oh, you're copying Bayani, you're copying him. No, but yeah, it's all cleared with him and he's cool with it. So I figured, because I've always been a builder on Minecraft, I should start a building series on my channel. I did have the build tips and tricks series, but that just kind of died because I couldn't think of anything that was worth teaching to you guys. And you'd probably learn a lot more from just watching me build on this series anyway, as opposed to that. So let's get right into this, I guess. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a 16, I believe this is, no, it's 15 by 15 medieval house. Now I've got my little block palette set up here, ready to go. And the texture pack I'm using, because you can tell that this isn't normal Minecraft, this is Conquest. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. And yeah, I guess we can get this thing started. So I'm going to grab my stone to start this one off. And I just want to make a foundation for the house. So I'm going to just throw these around the edge. I'm not going to put that there. I'm going to throw these around in all different directions and stuff. Just scattering it to kind of... I can't really explain it. It just looks like a worn down foundation of a medieval house. Because you don't have like, they didn't have like smooth concrete like foundations for the houses back then. So let's just throw this around. I'm going as fast as I can because I don't really want these videos to be too long for you guys to watch. I, I think this is going to be kind of a big build. I'm, I'm not really sure how big I'm going to make the house at this point. So yeah, if this is kind of long, I will speed it up at some point and I will return a bit later on when I have, when I'm doing the final detail to the house, sorry. Yeah, I couldn't think of my words and I'm too busy trying to do this in a nice pattern. Um, yeah, this is looking fine for now. Let's put this like this, this, this. Actually, I want this corner to be rounded. We'll get some mossy stone. On alternating like that. Oh, no, don't want that. Normal block. Hmm. I'm trying not to repeat the pattern too much. So you can see I'm using three mossy stone on each side. So I'm going to use two on this side. I'm probably going to fix it over there so it doesn't look too similar. Um, oh, okay. I used more than two. <laughs> just completely going off of what I said and just avoiding it. There we go. So that's the foundation of the house. That's 15 by 15. I'm just going to go around and fill this in like so. There we go. Is this the front of the house? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you can see just here, you got like the little indents and stuff and it just looks a bit worn down. Right, so let's move on to the actual foundation. Hello. That's by only texting me asking if I recorded. Yeah, dude, I'm recording right now. Thanks for that. Um, okay, so let's get the foundation of this house going. Oh, it's turning nighttime. I do really like this texture pack. It just kind of, kind of takes me into a different world. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. This is beautiful, <laughs> beautiful sunset. Okay, <laughs> I get distracted way too easily here. Okay, so let me throw this like this, and then I'm gonna bring it out, so as the house goes up, it gets wider towards the top. Because if you look at other modern builds in Minecraft, you'll see that they all do that as well. You see that I'm like, making this poke out, so the, uh, what is that called? The grain of the wood? Is that what it's called? I don't know, but that bit is facing towards me, so it acts as if there's a beam coming across here through the inside of the house. And from the outside, it just looks a bit more structural. Oh, there's the timer. I got it so it doesn't go nighttime, so you guys can always see. So that's always good. Alrighty then. I just gotta um, build up here next. Okay. I'm gonna build these up four. So yeah, every floor is getting gradually taller. So you can see this floor, the actual floor for this bit. It's going to be at this level, this level here. So this one is 
the ceiling would be there. So this is three tall, and then this here is four tall. So as it goes up, it gets wider and taller. So I think I'm going to throw a door in just here. Okay. Actually, I'll pop it just here. Then I'll put support beams up here. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll pop a stair in just there. And then leave that like so. Okay, so there's that support beam. And then I'm going to leave space for a window just here. So I'll bring this across two. And then we've got that bit just there. Okay. Alright. I'm probably going to speed this bit up right now just so I can get the actual foundation and like the structure of the house done. And then I'll come back when I finish that and we can start building the windows and such. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got the foundation, not the foundations, the uh, support beams and everything finished for the house. And I figured because this is going to be quite a big build by the looks of things, I'm just going to jump cut to different uh, sections of the build that I've completed. And yeah, so for now I'm just going to build the roof on top because that's going to take quite long and I don't want to do that on camera. Uh, I mean, I could do it and speed it up, but yeah, this video is already quite long as it is and... I think it might be a bit boring to watch me build a roof because roofs are roofs and yeah I will be right back again okay so we're back and I've got the roof done now so I'm gonna hop down here and we can start building into the walls so I'm gonna fill this bit here with this is just normal white wool and then up here as well and then I think yeah I'm gonna pop this around it just to fill it in and let me just pop these here just add some depth to the build yeah there we go that looks okay doesn't look too great but that looks good enough for what we're doing here let me pop these down here i'm not very good at placing blocks today um yeah let's have a look let me pop some of these in here as well let's just see how that fills out. Oh, I missed a block here for the roof. Um, like so. And I guess we can put another set just there. Alright, so we've got that bit filled in. Now let's pop a window just here. And we'll do another one just there. So we're going to grab some glass and I'm going to border it with these. Just let me pop these in here. There we go. Let's fill in. Actually, I want the fat glass for this. I call it fat glass. I don't know why. There we go. Let's pop those in there. I'm trying to go as fast as I can with this now. So, for this bit here, I'm gonna make a little. Um, how do you call it? It's a little, like, extended out window. So, let me just. Oops. Let me just bring these out, and then we want some of uh, these just here. Let's bring this down to here. So it looks like it's hanging out off of the building. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Let's bring it out like so. And then oh, it's going to look a bit off-center, but that's fine. Um... That, that, that. It's probably going to look really bad. But let's go with it. Um, we're going to pop some white wool up here. And then just along here. Let's pop that there. Um, yeah. And then I want... Oh, I've already got it. There we go. Cobblestone there. And then... What is this? What is this going on here? Um, let me grab this and let's just neaten this out. I'm not sure what's going on here. Something's going on, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> um, okay. Throw this here like that. And then what can we do? Yeah, there we go. And then this along here. And then there we go. 
I have no clue what that's supposed to be. It looks really weird. Not at all how it was supposed to go up, but it looks fine for now, I guess. We'll pop some more fat glass in there as well. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it looks fine. Um, what can we do up here? Yeah, we've got that done, and then... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go pop some stuff around on the back as well. Okay, so... Like so... Uh, I'm just gonna mirror the other side. So there's four... One, two... One, two, three, four... I'm probably gonna speed this up, and then we'll come back in a second when I'm done. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got a little bit of, I got a little bit strapped for time, sorry, because uh, my family is over for my brother's like birthday meal. Like his birthday was yesterday, so my family's all over for dinner today. I completely forgot, so I'm strapped for time. I went around and finished everything. I could add a lot more detail to this, but there we go. I've added some detail to it. I've done all of the windows. And yeah, this is a 15 by 15 medieval house. Let's look. Let's just go time set 14,000. Is that? Nope. Let's go 10,000. I want to look at it at um, sundown. What is it? 12,000. Let's try that. Oh, 12,500. Is that going to work? Yeah, there we go. So we've got the sun setting in the background. We've got the medieval house. Um, yeah, I let the roof like go a different... I can't explain it. It's different um, shapes because... You know, that back in medieval times, they're never going to build anything exactly proportionate. So the roof's a bit slanted. Um, uh, like I was saying earlier in the video, it all pops out. So it starts thin and then pushes out at the top and then it gets taller. And then as you can see, the beams went from three to four. And then I think here it's about seven, I think it was. So yeah, that's my 15 by 15 medieval house. If you have any other ideas for challenges, leave them down in the comment section below down here. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Sorry it was a bit scrappy, but hopefully in the next episode we'll get everything done. We'll do some time challenges, so I'm against the clock. And yeah, this is my 15 by 15 medieval house. I've said that so many times. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.